now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey everybody, this is the Ramble and this is Alex and we're on tonight. We don't have any problems technically, except that I'm here. That's Stephen Kravitz. What are you all bundled up for? What is that? You look like you're going skiing, are you? Yeah, 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 right. Yeah. Right. No, I'm freezing. Hey, nice new backdrop. Yeah, you like that? I just, it's yeah. its nighttime here in New York City. <laughs> and all the time. Uh, all the time, yeah. Well, this is, the show runs at night, so I'm using the, that that background. That's very cool. I also, I, that's a green screen I got back here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's all, all technical wizardry that I do here. Isn't it wonderful? Anyway, yeah. how how you doing? Look, you're all bundled up. You're cold, which means right. that you don't have heat. No, I have heat, but my bill last month was three hundred dollars. I think we talked about that. Mine mine gets up around three hundred too, somewhere in that area. But I've got twenty five hundred square feet here, and what have you got? Right. You know, oh, I don't know, fifteen. Oh boy. Why is it cost? Is that just the cost of electricity in your neck of the woods, which is up in uh, up in Massachusetts? Yeah, it's um, it's gas heat, and it's an old building, and it doesn't really heat the whole apartment. No, I see. It's oh, it's a gas bill. Yeah, I thought gas was cheaper than electricity. So did I. <laughs> So did I. Now wait a minute. Hold on a second. You're, number one, you're not working, okay? Right. Thank you're, you. You're, Thank uh, you for pointing that out. You're on. You're on some kind of disability, aren't you? Yes. All right. So can't you apply to the state to get your electricity or your gas for less? They must have some kind of compassionate deal there, where if you're on disability, you don't have to pay the kind of money you're paying for gas. Well, I'll have to look into that. I didn't even think of that. Yeah. No, I would do that because I, I can't imagine they don't have some kind of program for that because they don't want, like, people who are disadvantaged or have disabilities or who are seniors freezing to death during the winter. I will officially become a senior on Saturday. Uh, on Saturday you will be a senior? Uh, I, turned, I turned 65. Is that Does that make you a senior? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I, I I see. I know at eighty one I'm a senior. I have yeah, no. Oh yeah. I have no excuse for not saying I'm a senior. No, but, you're an elder cocker. But it took me a while to say I was a senior. <laughs> yeah, but everything kicks in at sixty five. Yeah, but you know what I didn't do? I, I got a, it, just my ego would not allow me to do this. When I hit sixty five, I was in California. And you go to the movies, and at 65, you can get a cheaper price to get in. Right. I refused to ask for it. I just didn't want to admit to myself that I had reached that. Plus, I had a woman I was going out with at the time who was in college. So, a boy. That's so, the Alex we love. Well, she was in college. She was actually in her 40s, but she'd gone back to college. Okay. But I just didn't want to go in to the theater and ask for a senior and a student, please. <laughs> 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 so my ego would not let me do that. So for the long well, time. And then one day I said, fuck it. I said, everything's, be you know, you get things better when you, you know. When it's sure, free. when you cop to it. Yeah, exactly. So. so I qualify for the COVID virus starting next week. Oh, oh, really? Oh, yeah. okay. You do? All right. Yeah. That's great. Um, you know, um, boy, somebody's trying to call in here, and I've got to remove them, and all these things are coming up. No, I don't want to report it. See that, folks? All that stuff comes up. 
Um, I'm going to have to tell this guy not to not to constantly try calling me. Uh, and he calls you during the show. Well, this is a guy. I don't know he's in uh, he's in Norway or some place like that. And anytime he sees that I'm online, he tries to get online. See, there he goes again. Don't admit him. Okay, I won't do it. I'll just let him sit there. Uh, you know, unless you want to talk to him, in which case no. I can admit him and you can talk to Norway. You want to talk to Norway? Yeah. Uh, the trouble is I'm using a format here where everything that comes up on screen comes up on our screen. <laughs> Okay. Oh, okay, but it looks better and it's in sync and everything. Like I don't, I don't want to go into the technology of this, but it's just, it's there's so much technology I have to do that it's right. it, it drives me nuts now, you know. So you uh, built you you built up a nice studio from scratch. Yeah, but you know something, I should at my age be able to go. How does this newfangled thing work? I don't, <laughs> you know, I I, I don't have to but anyway. Um, but um, so you're hitting 65. Yep. Young little Stephen Kravitz, the kid. Right. Is turning 65. Who would have thought I last this long? Well, I mean, you know, it, it, the old saying goes, if I knew I was going to last this long, I would have done all those drugs years ago. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. Well, I still... I don't know about that. The drug... Well, I never got into it. I, I had... Did I ever have a problem with drugs is my question. I, I should ask you. You're the expert. Did I have a trouble problem with drugs? The only one that knows that is you, Alex. I can't tell you. Yeah, yeah. You no. know, you have to decide whether you... Do you did you have a problem with Coke? Uh, uh, I, did, uh, I did Coke a lot, you know. Did you have a problem with it? Uh, did I have a problem with it? Um, yeah. I don't know. You know, I mean, what happened was I was doing it all the time. Right. Okay, and I was watering it down. I only did about, oh, how much? About, I don't know. I, 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 I maybe did a couple of thousand dollars a year in Coke. That wasn't a lot, if you think No, about. that's nothing. But I also, I cut it with, like, stuff, you know, so that it, it would go further. Uh, really? And, and not be as strong. Right. You know, but I still did. I did it constantly. Constantly I had this little this little uh, thing. With, you remember the thing with the pet cock on it? Yeah. The, bu uh, the bullet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so that I could, like, palm it. And even at dinner go, yeah, nobody right, would see right. me doing it. Right, 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 right. right so right. I, I was at that point, right? Now, ask me how I quit. <laughs> okay. Yeah. How'd you quit? I moved to Florida. <laughs> Why well, you had no connection? Well, that's the point. I mean, I tell people I quit by moving to Florida, and they go, how could you possibly quit? Florida was like where all the cocaine came in. Right, 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 right. right. But it was just that, number one, it wasn't as easy to find. Right. And uh, I just figured I'll, I'll stop when I run out, and I ran out at the Florida border. I said it, so I ran out at the Florida border. And then I, I went to work, and I just, somehow I didn't do it, you know, because I didn't have access to it. And I figured, my problem was I never quit because I figured, oh, it'll be really difficult to quit. And it wasn't, right. it wasn't that difficult, you know. No, it's not. It's psychologically difficult, yeah, cocaine. Yeah, yeah, uh, And heroin is physically yeah. and psychologically difficult. Well, I mean, there there's a physical uh, here comes this guy again. God damn it. I wish I could just block him. Uh, I think I will. Uh, but uh, Have you actually talked to him? Huh? Have you actually ever talked to him? Yes, I have. You know. Uh, uh, this is a guy that calls the show from Norway, and you can barely understand what he has to say. And he, uh, his, his, his uh, connection always breaks down. And uh, he's annoying. He's just purely annoying. Like right now, I'm trying to interview you, and his name right. keeps coming up and keeps coming up at the top of right. the screen up here. And uh, it's only because I'm using a system to do this that just simply recreates the screen. All right. right. 
so that right. anything comes up on the screen in here, like if I were to bring this up, people will see it. Watch this, folks. See that? Right. Comes up, comes in. Uh, I have another system I can use where it's not that way, but it's just more kind of like uh, um, it's not as in sync as it should be. But I, 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 I can go to that. I can change that to Kravitzin. And then I can go, uh, bum, 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 bum. there we go. And uh, now you see probably, well, I'm, I'm, I'm in sync enough. As long as we stay in sync, we'll be fine. And then we don't have to see this guy's name keep coming up. So. We're in sync. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's all, all the technology, folks, all in the technology. So well, tell me how you did the green. You got a green screen. Yeah, I had a green screen. And then you what? You project the picture on there? Yeah, I have a, uh, what, what the green screen, you know what a green screen does, right? Yes. yes it yes, it, yes, it yes. basically, in case people don't know, it, the background here is green. All right. right. Uh, and uh, what it does is that I can then superimpose anything on the green screen. Right. And the reason it's a green screen is, is there's it, I had a blue screen once I used. You could use a red screen. You could use right. any of those things, but you don't because look at me and look at you. Right. Do you, do you see any green on us? No. So if somebody shows up wearing green, well, this is green, but this is a dark green. Right. All right. So if anybody shows up wearing green, like green pants, the, suddenly their pants will disappear and this will show up. <laughs> you know, so. I wish I had a pair of green pants. But what it does is it literally keys me, uh, because if I turn this off, all you'll see is green. Okay. Right. So everything that's green has the picture that I select superimposed right. on it, and there we are. And now where it, else can we be besides New York? Well, I'm not going to do it now, but I could, uh, well, let me see here. Uh, 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 let me, let me go here. You, you, you really want to do this, huh? Yeah, sure. You, you want, you want this, uh, well, I have to go to the backgrounds, okay, that they have here. Right. And then I will have to change them. This one I was using for a while, because that's kind of like neutral and not too noisy, right? Right, very uh, much. But if I want to go to downtown New York at night, here we go. Oh, there you go. See, or if you want to go to Hawaii? Let's go to Hawaii. <laughs> okay. Uh, or we can just uh, use my logo here. All right. Oh, there you go. Or we can use a, a, that version of it or that version of it. Wait a minute. There's another version of it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We can do that. All right. Or we can do that. Okay. That's uh, pretty amazing. Yeah. So that's our, uh, or I can go to my one of my rooms in the house. Here we go. This is the living room right here. Really? Yeah, right. You know. Um, so uh, anyway, that's uh, that's how it works, folks. And back to New York. There we go. Yeah. Phew. There we are. See? So, isn't that fun? That was actually yeah, pretty exciting. Yeah. I, I kind of enjoyed that. Yeah, yeah. I like to stop in Hawaii. <laughs> There goes your phone again. Yeah. So let's talk about you turning 65. How do you feel about that? I'm kind of weirded out about it. Yeah? What weird, well, you, um, what weird you out about it? I don't know. You know, when I turned 60, it didn't bother me. When I turned 50, 40, whatever, mm -hmm. it never bothered me. This one kind of bothers me. Yeah. It means I am an elder cocker. You are an, an elder. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you want to, uh, uh, we, you'll admit it, of course, to all the places where you get in cheaper, right? Oh, of course. But oh, how, what are you, crazy? Okay, but now you're out on a date. Right. And she says, how old are you? Uh, <laughs> how old is she? Uh, well, she's, uh, she's uh, uh, let's say, 32. Oh, then I'm 55. Okay, suppose she's 42. Then I'm 65. Oh, okay. Suppose she's 18. Then I'm in trouble. 
You know, I mean, it's, it's, it, 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 there's an ego part of you, I guess, that keeps holding the age back. I never lied about my age on the air. Right. I always, uh, and part of my reason was, I suppose I wanted to be an example to everybody, is that you can get old and you don't necessarily have to lose your abilities, you know. That's right. And so Which on. is very true. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I, I was always very. In fact, I I went on the air in at, at, on a, a network thing on a syndicated show a couple of years ago, and I said I'm going to tell you at the end of the show how old I am, but I'm not going to tell you now, because that will tone how you feel about me. That's right. Right. First, first, let me do the show. So I, I will you. let my voice dictate your prejudice about me. All right. Right. Uh, and at the end, I told how old I was. And I said, I don't mind telling how old I am because, hell, it's not a, it's no big deal, you know. No, and there's nothing you can do about it. You know, I mean, I, 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 at 81, I could say I, it's horrible to be 81 and, and all the aches and pains. And, dip, 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 dip. and then I can say, well, I could have been dead at 75. That's right. You know, so uh, That's right. being 81 is, uh, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm doing okay. You know? well, you're in great shape for 81. Oh, I'm in terrible shape. Oh, shush. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, shush, you old grandma. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I, I have, when I think about what I have wrong with me, it's not, you know, you know, neuropathy. I had prostate cancer, which is easily taken care of. And, right. You know, so, I, you know, n nothing that, uh, you know. Uh, and then I, I went out and I got the shot. Oh, I'll tell you the best thing with the shot. Yeah, go ahead. The worst part about the shot, too. Get out of the car. I told this to my audience yeah, last night. And uh, so I'm repeating the story, but I'll tell you. I get out of the, we get out of the car. There's a line. It's about going to take about an hour to get to the front of the line, right? Right. We get out of the car. We go up to this woman who is like telling people, you go back there, you do this, you do that. And we said, uh, we're, we're here, Do we, uh, we, how long's the line? And they said, oh, that doesn't matter. You're old, uh, come with uh, us, uh. come with us. And they move us right to the front of the line and they say, you go to number six, you go to number seven. And that was for your second shot, right? Yeah, I because we went early. I got home before I was supposed to get my shot. So, but you had the appointment. Yeah, and I could have said, you know, I'm really upset that you think I'm older. But I, it was just one of those moments where I said, the perk. I got the perk. Yeah, you did. I and got the perk. Way. You know? And you were standing in the cold. Well, it was smart. What we did is we had Marjorie. Her leg was bothering her that day. So I said, bring a cane. I said, that might help us. I don't know how it'll help us, but that might help us. Right. So she had a cane with her. And immediately it was, oh, older people, to the front of the line you go. Right? right. And I think, I, I think it had a lot to do uh, with the, um, um, uh, you know, with the, what do you call it, with the, with the cane. cane. So, uh, you know. It made you look more feeble than you are. Well, you know, if I'm going to get a discount somewhere because I'm older, fine. That's the place to do it, isn't it? You know, but if I'm not going to get laid because I don't lie about my age, I'm going to lie about my age. <laughs> of course, now, I'd, you know, my wife, I told her, I said, you got me at a good time in my life. I said, I've never cheated on you. I right. said, but then again, I can't. <laughs> you know, I, and she says, I wouldn't have wanted to be married to you when you were like back in San Francisco and had the show and right. everything like that, because you'd probably be cheating on me like crazy. And I said, absolutely. Without a doubt. That was my nature. That was all our nature. <laughs> you know, it was we very... were the kids who couldn't get laid in high school. Yeah. Well, of course, I never could get laid in high school. No. You know, but once I got on radio... Women were throwing themselves at me. How was I to, you know, when that first happened to me, and it happened in Houston, Texas, I don't think I, um, uh, I just couldn't resist it, okay? Because women never threw themselves at me, and I was married. Oh, really? So, yeah, so I cheated like crazy. I couldn't keep, couldn't help myself. 
I think if I had gotten laid in high school, I would have been a better husband. I agree. Would you Would you we, agree to that? Uh, yeah, yeah, and, and and I also would have, because I was definitely sowing my oats through my twenties and thirties. Right, but in high school, you did weren't getting laid, right? No, because you were probably that all. you were probably that weird little Jewish kid, right? Weird little artistic Jewish kid. Yeah, let me ask or maybe you. Artistic. Let me ask you something, and I was thinking last time that I don't like to just talk about me on these things, and I wanted to ask you something. We're going long tonight with you because I always go long with you because you're great to talk to, and right. why not? Uh, you were a mime in Paris. No. 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 I thought you were. No. <laughs> I studied. I studied physical theater. Uh huh. And corporeal mime. Oh, now, now, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Corporeal mime? Yes. What is that? Where you let blood or something? What is that? Corporeal uh, mime. It's where you cover your face. Oh, I see. You cover your face and it's all about isolation and rotation and inclination, like my head. You know, rotation, inclination, and... Mm -hmm. so three but bars. what do they cover your head with? Uh, like a, um, what, like a cherry cloth or, or a, a cloth you can see through. Oh, okay. But you can't see my face. Yeah. The body so, does all the work. So why did I think you were a mime? Is it somebody else I know who was a mime? I did pantomime uh -oh. on the streets to make extra money. That's what I. That's what I heard you say, and I thought you said you were a mime, and I figured you were doing get out of the box, you know. For the tourists, absolutely. I got stuck in the box every weekend. <laughs> and then pulled the rope. <laughs> Can you still do the box for us? <laughs> there we go. There it is. Wow, you never lose it, right? Let's hope. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, you had it perfect. You felt there was really a box there when you did that. Yeah. 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 I interviewed uh, Marcel Marceau years ago. He didn't say much. He just said a lot. He was a great interview. Oh, was he really? Yeah, and the people always say, did he talk? Well, of course he talked. That's why it was an interview. Right, right, right. You know, right, I didn't say, right. so how are you? And he went, mm, 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 you know. Right, right. I'm stuck on the wall. Yeah, yeah. No, he, uh, he, in fact, he complimented me. He said, I looked like a young Albert Einstein. Oh, that's a nice compliment. Isn't it, though? Unfortunately, I don't look like an old Albert Einstein now. No, but, no, me, me neither. But he was, he, uh, yeah, he was very good. I, I enjoyed my, t my little interview with him. And uh, everybody was just amazed. He's going to do an interview? Yeah, he does them all the time. Yeah, I was amazed. I got to meet him in, uh, at UMass Amherst. Mm -hmm. He was doing a show, and I, got to meet, I, worked, I was working with stage crew, and yeah. I got to meet him, and that was pretty cool. That was kind of my catalyst to go to France. Oh, okay. But I didn't want to study, like, just pen. See, like, okay, let me give you an example. There's science, mm -hmm. right? Science. Mm-hmm. There's biology, there's um, uh, medicine, there's, you know, uh, well, what else? What else? There's other kinds of yeah, science. Yeah, well, anyway, yeah. Anyway, so there's meme or mime. Mm -hmm. There's corporeal mime. Mm -hmm. There's mask mime. Mm -hmm. There's three-quarter mask mime. Mm-hmm. And then there's pantomime. Okay. So pantomime is just a subdivision of mime. Okay. All right. All right. Does that make sense? Yeah, that all makes sense. Right. And I went to, to there for two years, so I'd have that capacity over my body while I was on stage. So I knew, I knew mm -hmm. stage uh, presence. Okay, so let me ask you, how, how does that manifest itself when you're on stage now? Well, because you think every movement is just, every movement has, has a meaning behind it. Mm -hmm. Like if I start a show like this and I'm neutral, mm -hmm. I'm not promising you anything. But if I start a show like this, I've made you a promise. 
I'm going to do something to the right. Hmm. So every move I, I make, like when I'm sitting on the stool, I'm sitting there for a reason. Mm -hmm. I'm sitting on the stool because, A, it brings me down lower so I can say, I can say stuff a tall comic can't say, like a big, tough comic. Wow. Like I, you know, I can tell, tell you to go after yourself, and I'm not really a threat. <laughs> oh, boy. Now, listen, we've run out of time. We've absolutely wow. run, out, run out of time. You are, you are so great. I love talking to you. You're, yeah, me too. You're, you. you're smart, and you're you know you're conversant, and uh, and and you were formerly kind of a mime. <laughs> kind of. See you next week. See you next week, ladies and gentlemen. That is Stephen Kravitz. Thank you, Stephen. Thanks, Alex. Okay. Thanks, folks. Bye, bye. Bye. Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. And that was Stephen Pearl, our good friend Stephen Pearl. Let me let there be light. There we go. Okay. I forgot to turn on my lights. I always forget something now. I'm, it's, 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 it's getting to be that way, okay? But, you know, who cares? Nobody's watching this stupid thing anyway, so... We'll just, uh, we'll just we'll 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 try our best. Is my face a little pink tonight? Let me see here. I find if I put my hands out in front of me, it changes the color of my face. I don't know. Anyway, uh, we're gonna go to the. Uh, we only have three people up waiting to be on tonight. You know. Oh boy. Well, uh, why why do I do this? <laughs> why do I do this? Oh, now we got four people. Okay. Well. Let's do it anyway, okay? Let's uh, let's open up the uh, uh, the uh, 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 what, what do we call it? Our uh, citizen panel. See what happens here. See if uh, we um, we have people here. There they are. They're coming on. Oh, there they go, one by one. Yes, uh, there's Jeffrey Stein, and there's Robert Natale, and there's Dan Meyer, and there is the lovely and attractive Brian Neary, and pulling up the rear, Doctor Doom. Uh, Charlie Wallace. Hello, Doctor Doom. Oh, you oh, even got Doctor Doom. Oh, got you've got. Hey, oh, wow. <laughs> well, no. He, hey. at point over. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. I don't know where where he's showing up here. Wait till you see mine, Robert. Wait oh. till you see mine. Uh, I came prepared tonight. Go ahead, Doctor oh, Doom. Uh, anyway, what you do, oh, Robert? Yeah, you and I. Today. He is, he is over Only to... Only 1,016 deaths if you, today. If, if you look over, <laughs> let's see here, to the right, to the left, the left and down, you'll be looking at Charlie. <clears throat> see? Okay? All right. So left then you can put up your Dr. Doom sign. I, I was just trying to introduce him. Oh, okay. Oh, you have... I see, I see you have... <laughs> and other, now... There we go. <laughs> Dr. Doom, would you please give us our nightly Doom report? Yeah, we had a really good day today. We only had 39,000 new infections and only 1,000, 1,016 deaths. Really? Uh, lowest in about four months. And that's in the entire United States, right? Entire United States, yeah. Wow. So what is it? Do what is the final number right now? What is the current death right, number? Well, deaths right now is 520,000. Oh, Jesus. God. Oh. 520,000. You know, if I were a relative, I if I were a yes. healthy shit. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I listened to your guys' show. I, I missed it because you guys were delayed or whatever. I so I listened too. to it at work. Yeah. So while I was at work, yeah. during my break time, yeah. I will be showing these as I talk. Mm -hmm. So I have... Are these right way generalizations? Mm -hmm. <laughs> when I talk, ninety nine percent truth. Ninety nine percent. Fifty percent truth is what I talk about. Yeah. Okay. I am not a doctor. <laughs> I'm not a doctor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My opinion. <laughs> Complete bullshit. Uh oh. And uh -oh. racist comment. <laughs> oh, WTF. I see. Sarcasm. And sarcasm. That's, That's the sarcasm. last one. So when I speak, I will put those up so you know in what vein I'm oh. talking. 
I wonder if and, I wonder and when I wonder. he complains about his camera. I see. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Complete winning. Oh, whining. 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 winning. Would that, is that me complaining about yeah, my when camera? you complain about the camera and the uh, technology and all like this? Well, I can li put listen, that. Listen, listen. Last night, I mean, it Why? was uh, uh, I. It was a clusterfuck here. You know. Um, we we had a terrible time getting on last night. Everything went down on me except the my, show was really good though. Except my <laughs> wife. Um, but, <laughs> uh, but I mean, it it was just it was horrible what went on, mm -hmm. and uh, it it almost makes me wonder if I go to the trouble now. Where is that? Alan's not here tonight? I hope he's not upset by last night. You know, uh, well, mm -hmm. who knows? You know. Uh, Alan, if you're out there, please call, you know, because we do have a sign for you. Put it up there again, uh, Robert. <laughs> Robert. Put it up there. This one? No, no, no. <laughs> oh, sorry, oh, sorry, sorry. No. I got that one. No, okay. No, no, okay. Yeah, not, 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 not that one either. Not that oh, one. Oh, 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 oh. That one. There we go. Okay. Yes. Oh, there we go. Okay. Here, come, here comes John Larkin. Do we hey, have a Robert, Robert, you and I are like this. <laughs> we, we, we didn't even talk before the show. No, we didn't. Do no, we, we didn't. Do we have a sign for John Larkin? Which um no, I don't think so. Well, it depends on what he says. Yeah, you know? then we flip oh. it up. I, yeah, we could put up what the fuck, you know. What is this? That's always, like, a, it's always, a, that's always an available that's option, one. isn't it? Oh, and when there's dull moments in the show, we can take a break by doing this. Oh. <laughs> hey, you guys talking about me? Then when he asks, does he have COVID? I flash this one up. Yeah, right, See? right. You know, the thing about, about Robert is that he does more prep for this show than I do. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Come on, you need, like, fresh material here. Well, listen, you know, when you say I'm whining about the technology, last night you should have been here. It never happens. It never happens yeah. at 3 in the afternoon, okay? It always I, happens I at, I wish like, I could put this under him. <laughs> 9.30 at night, and the whole thing just went... Pfft. Yeah, but, Alex, the shit isn't going to go wrong while you're asleep. You know, no, it's no, a little no, like, no. why does the car only break down when but, I'm driving? But, but, but it? I do yeah. other stuff. I mean, obviously, that's when it's going to happen. <laughs> I do other stuff on this computer during the day. Why didn't it go down at three o'clock? Why didn't it go oh, okay. down at six o'clock? Why didn't it go down at eight o'clock? No, nine thirty. Hey, at your age, you should be happy anything's going uh, down. I know. I just made that joke <laughs> yeah. in another obscure way that would right. upset my wife. Um, <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold what? on. What? Oh, hey, I was going to bring up something about Woody Allen real quick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, Woody. <laughs> I got a Woody. Oh, no, I have a... Oh, complete <laughs> bullshit. Okay. <laughs> Damn. I was saying the Woody thing was bullshit. Yeah, not that again. <laughs> there, there we go. Not that again. That was a joke. I, I have nothing to say about Woody Allen. Oh, wait a minute. I, Put I, up I, the sarcasm I, sign. Oh, humor. That's okay. <laughs> humor. humor. Yeah. Oh, God. This way we're all on the same page. You know, we understand everybody's intentions. I don't want to be misunderstood with my friends. That's I'm, I'm just worried that no. Alan was a little no. bothered by what went on last night, and that's why he's not calling tonight. No, he's got, he's Listen, got thick skin, he says. What? He says he's got a thick skin. Yeah. 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 But, All day uh, long, I walked around the house with a New York Yankees t shirt <laughs> and I purposely took it off because I didn't want to seem like a douche wearing something that said New York on it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, gee, so I took it off and changed. So you were being, you were ready to be nice tonight, but now he isn't calling. Yeah. Yeah. Well, oh, that's well. his choice. That's his choice. His I choice. Guess. I guess. I guess. I guess maybe he is thicker, thinner skin than we think. Maybe. I don't know. He might be doing Probably something. Just has to come come up. He never yeah. does anything else. He's always here. I only, uh, you know what I happened to me yesterday? Because I don't remember him. Did you, before. Did, you the, did you see the interview with uh, with uh, I just did with uh, Stephen Kravitz? Uh, yeah. And somebody kept trying yep. to call the show. A Norwegian. Now I do that. I do that. Yeah, we know who. 
I do that interview at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, okay? I, I'm, there's no way I'm doing a show, okay? But I use the same number, right? Because I'm not going to pay for three or four numbers every month for Zoom. I pay for one. Uh, every time somebody's calling, it comes up here, okay? And it shows up on the screen. Mm -hmm. And this guy kept calling, and I kept hanging up on him. He kept, during the interview, kept yeah. calling. And I had that Richard Johansson, Ugh. you know? <laughs> And I finally had to write him and say, you know, just stop it. You know, you, you know, I wasn't doing a show. You know that. You know. So, I, you know, that, that, that was who was calling. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I, I very seldom get anybody else calling while I'm doing an interview of sorts, you know. Maybe he knows your car warranty was expiring. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> I know you don't have a car, but he's worried. Oh, I always, oh, I, always, I, I, I always play with those guys a lot. <laughs> yeah. Just to make sure you guys know. No, because, yeah. <laughs> I, I, have a, well, I, have a, I have a new car, and, I, and they're talking about the war team, my old car. Still. This almost looks like some kind of game we could create. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, Hollywood Squares. You know, I haven't done my new segment idea spot in a in a week, so maybe tomorrow or Tuesday, we should work on more new segments or new themes. New because I know you love theme um, shows. I, I love theme shows. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> theme shows are just the best. Um, Robert, you're not you're not going to get paid for this gig. Is this no, not I a understand paid? that. You I understand, understand that? that? Okay, I just want to make sure. Listen, I used right. to, when I first got out of college, I was a freelance writer. So I'm used to not getting paid for gigs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Robert, I was going to say, have you done radio? You got a little bit of show biz in you. you I did radio in college. I, I did was, too, college radio. I, Alex I, was my idol. I wanted to be Alex. Alex. Yeah. And I found out a little about him and I thought, fuck that. There are yeah. certain <laughs> things. It, Everybody it, wants to be Alex. There's I certain want to be Alex. stock <laughs> items in radio that morning show hosts do that I made sure I never did. Uh, one was called the Horrible Scopes. <laughs> oh. Horrible Scopes. <laughs> yeah. Horrible Scopes. It was like horoscopes, but it was just horrible. Um. Horoscopes. The Horrible Scopes. And there's one that Jack does, and I don't want to demean Jack by saying that it, I never did it, because I did do it one time, and then I decided that everybody else in the world did it, and that was birthdays, celebrity birthdays. You'll never find me doing celebrity birthdays. So, Jack, it's all yours. You know, you know what segment my wife misses the, the most? Quickies. Well, I can't do quickies here. I understand that because yeah. we don't have callers. Well, I do. That's I have you, but it needs to be that a lot of people are calling and I'm picking up the, the lines fast. Right. Yeah. And, and yeah. I couldn't even do that here but, with this, with Skype or with uh, with Zoom or whatever, <clears> right? you know. No. We could just all well, scout stuff. I forgot about that. No, well, no, but it was a thing. In case people don't know, Quickies was a thing I did years, started years ago. And I did it. And it was, uh, I would uh, go to the phone and I would hit a button. The lines will all be ringing. I'd tell people we're going to do quickies. And the lines would all be ringing. And I would go, quickies. And then somebody would do a quickie. Something really quick. Like, uh, I never liked your mother. And then we'd go to another quickie, you know. And, uh, um, <laughs> you know, good. get yourself a job, Alex. You know, next, yeah. quickies. And I would go through these really fast, quickies, quickies, quickies. And they were supposed to be no more than like five seconds long. That was the other rule. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. and we, it, I did it. And I did it for years. I did it over WMCA, and I did it, I think, at WPLJ. And it was it was a it was a hallmark of what I did. But I just got tired of doing it. And and I was the kind of guy who went, if I do something too much over and over and over again, it's time for me to get rid of it. You know. So I sure. got rid of quickies. Well, over the years, people stole quickies. Yeah. Including mm -hmm. Hannity yeah. stole quickies. Oh. Hannity stole Mike quickies. Malloy. Mike Malloy did it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah. I just, dis at one point, I just went, well, I'm never going to do it again now, because if I do it now, somebody's going to say, oh, you stole that from Sean Hannity. Yeah. 
So uh, I just <laughs> never did it. And then all of a sudden, one day I decided when I was at... Uh, uh, as uh, when I was over at uh, Sirius XM, I'd start it up again. And, On and, how, and how I yeah. announced doing it was that I was doing it, and everybody should understand that I did this years ago, and that I never stole this from anybody. You're going to say, oh, Hannity does that, and Mike Malloy does that, and so-and-so does that. I said, I was the one who invented it, and I just stopped doing it, and, and I just don't think it's right of me to not do it again because it is mine, you know. Mm -hmm. So we started doing it again over at Sirius. But you, you hear how that goes. It's not something you can exactly do with Zoom. No. Okay? Yeah. So, so uh, uh, yeah, but if there were a way I could do it, I would probably do it. If there was a big enough audience to do it with. But when you only have three people listening to you, that's a pretty boring quickies. Yeah. It kind of becomes slowies. Yeah, it becomes longies. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know. So I mean, what the hell? You know, I I just it it just uh, uh, so that so that's why I don't huh? do quickies anymore. Some of the quickies used to crack you up. Like some of them were pretty inventive. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh absolutely. Some of them used to lay me low. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Uh, and and, and uh, there's nothing better than a great quickie. Right. You no, know? you're right. And the thing is that most quickies were yeah, kind of mediocre. But, yeah, they but, burped or but, some stupid yeah, shit. But the reason why people stuck around for it is you were waiting for that one great quickie. Yeah. Which is kind of like what life was all about, too. Yeah. Was yeah. That exactly. One, that's that's, that's what happens quickie. when you go to Central Park. Yeah. You wait. <laughs> yeah. What, a, yeah. Yeah. what was that path they used to walk in Central Park? Yeah. Yeah. Wasn't that called the Ramble? The Ramble, thing? yes. Yeah. Well, so that's what this yeah. is. So. I think it was. I think when I started the Ramble, it was uh, it was Albert who said, "What is this? A gay walk in Central Park?" <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but that was called the Ramble. Yeah. Yeah. It was called. I, I, or was it called yeah. the Rambles? Right. Right. What are yeah. You? George George Decay mentioned it when he was on the Stern. That he. Well, he should. Uh, there, he, yeah. he should remember it. Oh, here yeah. comes Alan. Yeah, we wonder what happened to you, Alan. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 Stern mentioned. Stern mentioned it. Really? Yeah. Uh huh. Here comes Alan. There, uh, there's Alan. He, oh, he. The reason he couldn't get here tonight is he just got off the plane in Hawaii. He flew to Hawaii. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hawaii. Oh boy. Look at that. He's going to get a suntan and everything. Jeez. I tell you, leave my nephew. Oh, to... <laughs> oh, 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 did your nephew yeah, do that? Did your nephew? Yeah, do that? he doesn't like the, the junk in my office. I don't either, but he puts these backgrounds on and he leaves them on. Yeah. <laughs> good, good for you. I should do that too, obviously. Uh, maybe I can blame it on Robert. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Here, Robert, you want to look up for a second? Where are you at? I got a I'm sign looking. to hang up. Let's see if I can get the oh. sign in the well, we, see we, it. well, we can't see it because can't see oh. it because oh. of your background. Oh, let me green. get rid of this. It, it How do we do this? Let's see. You, you just go up to the shield, the green shield, and then go oh, here over it is. to the preference. Uh, there you go. You got rid of that. Maybe you want, might want to soft focus yourself. So you don't okay, see what this says here. But it was that sarcastic comment. Oh, okay, you got that. Then he's got a, a sign. They've all got a sign. <laughs> I got. We all have to get our own signs. Okay, when you say yep. something sarcastic, hold it up, and if everybody else holds theirs up, then you win. Oh, okay. <laughs> when you say something sarcastic, I'll hold this up. Not that again. Okay, okay, no problem. <laughs> See, this is a game show now. You know yeah. something? Yeah. Oh, you missed it last night, Dan. Like, I know. I, paper I, I heard it today, uh -huh. and I was upset that I missed it because I felt for the 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 show's not on tonight, and I went to bed. Well, the show well, almost we was. You. What happened yeah. last night is is I finally yeah. got everything working about ten minutes of the hour. And I went, oh well, I'll just go on, yeah. see if anybody's out there. And we did a little, little, little show, uh, mm -hmm. but uh, it was it was impossible for me to get on. Last night. Hey, everything went wrong. First, the whole computer went down. Then I had to pull out all the USB ports to get it bo to boot up again. And when I got it to boot up again, 
all my cameras looked weird. And then I turned out I one was oh, oh stop it. <laughs> no, but here's what I found out. I was having some kind of a problem with my on the air light because it was smeary. And then I realized I went, I, then I cleaned the lens and I found out I hadn't cleaned my lenses in so long that there was some kind of blurriness there. Oh, Alex, but, tell the truth. You thought it was time that Brian spent time with his family. I thought so, yeah. <laughs> no. the Warriors lose. Jeez. No, it, it was a <laughs> it was a loyal show. it was a loyalty test and fuck you, Brian. That's right. That's right. You <laughs> failed. <laughs> So uh, I don't know if anybody. Yeah, really. <laughs> I thought you were all like, "All right, I went to bed, so what, let's do this show." Yeah, yeah. I just got off the phone with Comcast. They're so easy to work with. Oh, really? Is that why you were late? Yes. What What was the problem with Comcast? Comcast. Well, is they're my free. internet provider, and uh, I had no internet, and I've been dealing with them for hours. <clears throat> and they finally got me. So I don't know how long it'll last. They're going to replace the modem on Monday. Really? Well, your modem doesn't seem to have had a problem before. No, no. Well, you know, I'll tell it, you. It's five years old, and I have to pay a rental fee for it. Let them replace the damn thing. You know, it, 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 there are times that we have bad service. You know, like you try to call Comcast, and then you got to put up with them for hours and hours until they solve the problem. But occasionally, something wonderful happens in this whole thing, right? And what I did yesterday is I decided that I was going to, um, um, I was going to change the way I got my drugs. I decided a while back, as I was going to go to Costco to get them, and you can get mm -hmm. them online. So I signed up online, and they said you want it to be transferred from your drugstore. This particular prescription, I said. Sure, you know, online. And I filled all the stuff out. And then I get a call from them saying, uh, we have a problem. We don't have a phone number. The phone number doesn't seem to be answering at your, at your uh, pharmacy. And I said, well, what number do you have? And it was the wrong number, and I gave them the right number. Okay? And they were so nice to me. I mean, they were calling me over one little $25 purchase I was going to make. And then yesterday, I'd say, well, what the hell? I'll order three more prescriptions from them. Why not? You know, one was going to be a little more expensive than if I bought it from Express Scripts, but cheaper than if I went down the street and got it at my drugstore. And the other one was much cheaper, like 20 bucks cheaper. So I was making 10 bucks on this whole deal. And they called me to say, well, this one drug you have is a... Uh, is a uh, uh, what do you call it, drug, uh, you know? A, 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 Psychotic? A, no, yeah, 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 no, like a narcotic. It was a, <clears throat> you know. Oh, uh, heroin the, controlled a, substance. A, a controlled substance. <laughs> okay. And uh, that they had to, that they were going to have to call my doctor about it in order to get it, all right? And that might take a few days more than the rest of them if I can wait. And I'm going, gee, that's so nice. And then I, they said, and by the way, this one is 120 milligrams, not 100 milligrams like you wrote in there. And I said, okay, great, terrific, you know. And, and then I sat and talked with her a little bit, and I asked her a few questions about how I can move stuff back and forth. And, and, uh, and, and it's so cooperative, I couldn't believe it. And they're not, like, going to make a fortune out of me. Maybe over the long haul they're going to. But I'm moving all my drugs over to Costco, and it's so cheap. The prices I'm getting are the kind of prices I'm getting when I've got insurance. And this mm. is without insurance. I'm not taking the having doing insurance because if I do insurance, they're going to charge me the deductible. Mm -hmm. I, I don't need the deduct to pay the yeah. four five. What is it? Four hundred and fifty dollars deductible. Fuck you. Wow. I, if I their drugs are so cheap. That I cannot, that without the deductible, I mean, even if I pay a little more than I would get usually if I had paid out the deductible, it comes out better in the end. So I just say no prescription drug uh, thing. And quite frankly, I don't think, I think I'm going to stop even getting a prescription uh, program because if you, if you go to Costco 
and buy your drugs there. They are cheaper. And also, go get a good RX uh, card. Mm -hmm. Because you get the good RX card, and you can't do it at mail order at Costco, but you can go to the local Costco, give them your good RX card, and they'll take another $15, $20 off of the bill. I mean, it's amazing how cheap their drugs are. Now, let me give you an example. Uh, I take a thing that's a generic Cialis. Not for getting a boner, it's for making me be able to pee. All right? Gives you a boner. Now. Getting sure. a boner is a... Is yeah, a yeah, sure, okay. Well, well okay. Bonus. But <laughs> it's not covered by my new insurance. It, it, it's not covered by my new insurance, but if I want to get it, I can get it, but it's going to cost me $425 oh, for, three, for a three-month wow. supply. Four hundred and twenty-five dollars. Wow, generic? Jeez. Yes, for the generic. Oh. Mm. All right. How That's because you, of your deductible. Uh, yeah, I talked about this before, at Costco, online. Ready for this? Twenty-five dollars for a three-month supply. There we go. Now, wow. will you tell me Express Scripts is one of the biggest drug? Uh, prescription drug insurance companies, if I'm not mistaken. I think they're considered yeah. the biggest in the country. If you go online, they're one of the biggest ripoffs, too. Oh, no, but they, they, <laughs> they, should, they should be able to get the best prices on drugs. Does that make sense? Because they, yeah. do, they do such massive amounts of business. Yeah. Why is it, number one, they don't cover it. When they did, it cost me $125 for three months, and over at Costco, it's $25. What is that all about? Yeah. Uh, they're giving to Trump? That's what, yeah, that could be. Uh, but, know. you know, I mean, do, does that make sense? No. There has to be. I When I was uh, years ago, they used to have a channel on cable where they just ran drug prices. This is true. They used to run drug prices and compare them. Here, here's this drug. Now here's this drug at Costco, and here's this drug at well, it wasn't it wasn't at Costco. And it says here's a here's it uh, this drug and at that drug store and at that drug store, and I noticed all the prices and the difference between drug stores was as yeah. much as a hundred dollars. You can do that in your neighborhood, I'll bet you. Well, what I'm what what I'm saying is I don't understand it. It doesn't make sense to me. And there are a few other places you can get cheaper drugs. Kroger's, if you have a Kroger's, you can uh, go to Kroger's. And, yeah, it's cheap, and it'll be cheaper than your insurance company will sell it to you. And they're going to want a deductible, so they're going to tag that onto the price of the drugs. My deductible is a killer every year for drugs. $75. Well, I don't have la -dee -da. one. La-dee-da. You don't have one. Yeah, $50 deductible. Hmm. I think 75 is reasonable. Well, you know, my union left us out in the cold on that one. You should have had some fun with them when they said, you know, Mr. Schwarzman, this is a controlled substance. Who's your doctor? You should have said he stands on the corner of 112th and Broadway. <laughs> no, they, did, they didn't ask who he was. They had his name oh. and his phone number because it was from on the prescription. Okay, so they, they, they just said, we'll get a hold of them and we'll find out, but it will take a while. And on your second prescription for any of this stuff, when you re renew it, we have to call the doctor and get a new prescription and stuff. But we'll do that for you. We'll do that wow. for you. And I'm going, is this any way to do business today? Aren't you supposed to be harsher than that? Aren't you supposed, yeah. supposed to be more invasive and troubling yeah. and so on? No. It's Costco for you. They mm -hmm. do a good job mm -hmm. and they do it friendly. Yeah, I we wonder how that. much. I wonder how much normal Cialis would cost. <laughs> Just take normal Cialis. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, Alex. Yeah. At, at, at every turn, it's like so Costco is always like they pay their employees well. They they're always doing the right thing. So yeah, you so had to buy six world. years of worth of of pills, though. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. Alex, so yeah. the, the, the the Cialis, fake Cialis you're taking for, uh, to, to help your urinary tract, the prostate thing, mm -hmm. it's like five milligrams, right? Or, uh, yeah, five milligrams. Five yeah. milligrams? Yeah. Okay, so I don't take it, but I have friends that do. So if you ever get in the gym, <laughs> 
No, this is true. If you ever get in a jam, I might have friends. So I've never been to a whorehouse, but I've had friends who've been to one. Yeah. yeah okay. I, I, I never did <laughs> cocaine. I, I never did cocaine. I, I just asked, could I smell it? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Complete bullshit. <laughs> So you can ask for the 10 milligram size from your doctor in generic mm. and split the pills in half. And you no, no, more. no, no. It's not the same for some reason. The uh, oh. the five milligram for some reason is the 30 day dose where you take it every day. Uh huh. OK. Yeah. Whereas the bigger ones are somehow made and compounded in a way that you only take them when you need them, you know. You take them when you need when you want to get the. Well, how are you gonna you gonna take one before you need to take a piss? Is that the deal? No, no, I take one every morning. <laughs> <laughs> a piss or a pill? Oh, I'm being oh, having yeah. a bad time here. Yeah, it's humor. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, at my expense, however. You had your yeah. hand up there, Charlie. Yeah, I was gonna say at Walgreens, one month supply of Cialis. Supposedly cost three hundred and twenty-five dollars, so but my copay is only ten dollars. <laughs> so insurance okay. company pays the rest. So I just keep. Your insurance company pays for Cialis. Yeah. Your yeah, mine won't pay for the uh, for the what do you call it? What is it? not Cialis, but it's uh, it's uh, it's called t- Tadafil. Tadalafil. Tadalafil. Like yeah. 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 Do you get Tadalafil? That's what I get. Yeah, that. yeah. That's the three hundred twenty-five dollar. Yes, that's the three hundred twenty-five dollar one. Yeah. Hey, it's been, it's been yeah. fifteen minutes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Uh, I like how everybody's talking about how they get boner pills, but. No, we don't get them for boners. We <laughs> yeah, I mean, they don't get for articles. I don't know about articles, articles. but I don't like, need it for boners. I, I, yeah, I, I did it for another reason. Yeah, Read the articles and play for a friend. friend. Play and my temperature, yeah. oh, 98.2. Wow. Now I think the, I think the re- <laughs> I think the reason it's ninety eight point two is because I've been sitting under these. I've been uh, had my hat on. Or you know, yeah, we're, on, we're on to something here. This is the funniest show we've done in a long time. Wait a minute! Yes. Wait a minute! <laughs> oh my god! Okay, in chest pains. Oh my god! Okay, you sure it's not that second COVID shot, Alex? Ninety-nine point. Yeah, he's ninety-nine point. I, I don't know. I think he took two of the Cialis by mistake today. Wait a minute, ninety-nine point four. Now you see. Now you asked me to do it, and now I'm worried. It looks like a full moon in your background. Huh? There's <laughs> a full moon in the background. New York City tonight. Ninety-nine point two. What is this? Ninety-eight point one. Put it on your dick and see it. Seven point three. What your is going I'm not a doctor is perfect for you, Brian. You should have thought of it months ago. Before I came on the show, they were asking you every COVID <laughs> vaccine question. Ninety-eight point eight. Alex, there's a full moon in your uh, background now. Yeah. Ninety-eight point one. What? There's a full. Maybe that's what's causing the problems. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, it just cooled down. When I yeah. sit here, I, I warm up for some yeah, reason. The, the moon just went away. Sit on some yeah. moon. I don't care if I have a temperature now. I know I don't have COVID. Okay. okay. You sure? I mean, they're only Oh, 90, shut up. 99%. Don't get me started. <laughs> you might be that one person. You would have to do that temperature check, wouldn't you? <laughs> just just sit on some ice cubes. You'll be fine. Mm. You go sit on some ice cube. There you cube. go. You go sit on an ice cube. Yeah. Uh, why? Why is your? Why do you have a sarcasm sign that looks like that? Uh, because yeah. I printed it out on something, so you guys got used to it, so you didn't have to actually have to read it. I didn't know how it would read. Oh, I see. You, well, you got to put it up when you talk, so we know. Yeah. Oh, I see. Jeez. Well, I was I was talking about Alex. I wasn't talking. So. Yeah. 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 Well, One of these days, we'll be able to do this electronically and just type it, and it'll right above our head and our screen. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. One of these I think days. it would be more fun if we could put signs in front of other people's square. <laughs> oh, goodness <laughs> sakes. Yeah. Well, well, you see, if all of you, if all of you got the same yep. program that I have here and then ran that into your 
into your uh, uh, thing, into your uh, yeah. uh, browser. But no, uh, there no, he goes it, again. into your Zoom. Okay. Okay. See, I mean, what you can do is, is there's a thing on OBS. It's a free program, by the way, that you can get OBS. It says start virtual camera. And what it does is it makes a virtual camera that then you can use in OBS. And then that will give you pictures of people, <laughs> like stuff and everything. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let me let me. For instance, if I start the virtual camera, ah, okay, you know the interesting which, thing which is I've the started. non virtual camera you makes doing, you look fine. Watch too. what happens to me when I do the virtual <laughs> camera. Watch this. You okay. want to see hey, what the virtual camera? Watch this. Watch this. Let's see. There. That's Are the you virtual camera. Again? You see? That's I'm the, Alice. Huh? Yeah. I'm that's, Alice. That's the virtual camera. So oh. uh, anyway, that's how that's how you do virtual camera. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, oh, 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 that's coming up, by the way, in on my video. So I want to get rid of that. Let's see here. Is this the one, Brio? Yeah. Is that it? Is that it? Okay. OBS. Huh? Yeah. 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 Not irritable bowel syndrome. That's, yeah, that's <laughs> an I. That starts with an I. But you're, you're not a that's doctor. That's IBS. Yeah. Don't punch up IBS. Yeah. It's irritable bowel syndrome. Irritable, irritable Bennett's syndrome. <laughs> anyway, so anyway, so I can do that. See, so what you could do is you get one of those OBS things, then you could uh, like just put your picture up, uh, but then anything you want to, you know, put up, animations, <clears throat> drawings, whatever you could actually. Put I like what you're doing, Dan. For the virtual camera. Yeah, well, black, black and white yeah. looks kind of good, doesn't it? Oh wow! It does wow? Yeah, you don't look old. You are seventy. Can you do it young. on the? And yeah, there's other filters here too, like pink or whatever this is uh black and white your walls look better yeah i fixed my see oh very oh, nice thank <laughs> you <laughs> yeah. thank you but you didn't make wow. your bed today no i didn't make the bed today i'm sorry about that i'll i'll make my bed tomorrow i promise if okay. you left some tissue off the side of the bed too if, if you had a wife <laughs> if you had a wife like i do you there's a movie theater Ooh. Oh, I, I hate Zoom. I hate the toys they give you on Zoom. That Zoom that he's oh, doing? Yeah. My yeah, camera a, will do a, things like that, yeah, I'm finding yeah, out. Yeah, you can do but it. I, but I do like the black and white. I think that's... I think that's that'll work for me you. this evening. You know. Yeah, black and white is cool. You, you expect John Garfield to walk into the picture mm -hmm. any minute. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. Didn't he die of a heart attack in bed? Oh, no. Yeah, that's. I think he did, actually. I think he did. Yeah. He absolutely wow. did. I was going to say it'd be kind of funny if he walked in since he's dead, but yeah. I wasn't sure. Yeah. <clears throat> but anyway, okay, well, the show's almost over. So. <laughs> <laughs> Brian always looks so orange or blue. Sometimes he's got an orange light, sometimes a blue light. Well, he doesn't have a light on him is what the problem is. He's got more light in back of him than in front of him. I got LEDs oh, on the front same, too. The same thing with me. That's why the Zoom thing. Started. Well, when I was on my laptop, the, it was in the kitchen. The lights were right above me, and now the lights off to the side, and it looks better, I think. Except yeah. for you get to see my messy office. That that one effect, Brian. It should be called Roxanne, right? <laughs> I want it. Yeah, there you go. Oh, that oh, that's nice. I like that. Well, effect. let's check all in right. with Jeff. He hasn't said a word all night. I know. I've been just laughing a little bit. He didn't bring his signs. <laughs> I know. I didn't paper. Not allowed to speak. No. Well, I guess everybody should bring signs now. That's a requirement of the program from here okay. on in. I know. Oh, I didn't bring I, I, guess, I guess. I guess I'll have to make up some tomorrow. We yeah. have a game show working here. Yeah. Yeah. The we almost have Hollywood Square signs that you can hold up. You know, I I wish there were something political to talk about, but there's nothing really going on, is there? Well, I think it was kind of cool that at CPAC, the Republicans outwardly talked about suppressing Democratic votes. Yeah. Outwardly. Yeah. They didn't hide it at all. Right. You know, it's not even it's not was even it, a you no know, backroom court. kind of whisper yeah. thing. Didn't they say I something to the effect that if we if we if, if we don't suppress them, they'll win? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah. They got the, they got the balls of a safe cracker. Yeah, these people. Sure. I I'll agree with you, no, and that's not sarcastic. Yeah. Well, uh, yes, uh, Jeff. Jeff has his hand up. Everybody, shut oh. up, Jeff. Everybody, shut. 
All right. I can never figure this out. Here's all these people who are being interviewed, and they're senators and congressmen and whatever, and they absolutely lie and say bullshit, and it doesn't mean anything else. And the guy who's interviewing goes, and thank you very much for coming. They don't challenge them. They don't have they signs. Yeah. You're lying <laughs> at me. It's yeah. Jeff, you're you're muted. We can't hear you. <laughs> now, you know what, you, what they should do, Jeff? They should have a new show on Sunday afternoons. You know, like Meet the Press, and they have Face the Nation. They should have another one in which they bring on politicians <laughs> and hook them up to a lie detector. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, electricity. And yeah. then, okay, let's see if you're telling the truth. <laughs> right, you know, or or they have a host, and the name of the show is "I Call Bullshit," <laughs> and every time, <laughs> every time the politician says something that's not true, the the host just yells "I Call or, Bullshit," or, and they have or to the look host it up. Can push a button, and they get a shock to the seat of their pants. I I would pay to see that. Mm -hmm. they, but they they had that one Facebook page. That was thought it's called now this politics yeah. and whenever whenever uh, trump would talk they would pause it whenever he would lie and he would say that's not true this this and this yeah. but i stopped watching it because they cut up so much oh yeah kept stopping so much it was yeah. really irritating you couldn't make head or tail of what he was saying in the end do you know what i got uh, i got the the new uh thing they've got on uh what is it uh um on um Oh God! What is it? Uh, Costco. No, 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 no. We were talking. Uh, uh, no, I, I'm trying to remember what it was. OBS. First word. You know, bigger you know, than a bread box. Hmm. Bigger than a bread that box. Sounds like. Anyway, uh, I, I, it was um, uh, the. Uh, uh, oh, I forgot now. Something completely threw me off. Something technical here for a second threw me off. Um. Uh, you hear about the Republicans are making the uh, the uh, the clerk of the House or something read the or the Senate mm -hmm. read that yeah. whole bill word know? by word. Yeah, and it's like what what they, I'm saying. Why don't they hire a speed reader to just blur, fucking go through it in like half an hour? <laughs> yeah, get, what, they would get the, the, the Republicans would get lost in the first paragraph. They're not even they're listening to it. Yeah. They're not even in the fucking chamber. It's they just, had an interview today. Uh, remember the it's guy? It's a troll. It's just a fuck no. you. They had a they had a they had an interview on uh, CBS this evening uh, with uh, the QAnon shaman. Oh yeah, I saw that. Mm. I saw that too. Uh, his excuse for why he was in there was that he was invited in by the uh, by the guards. They just right. said, "Come right in, see the Capitol." Yes. Yeah, I think right. that happened. I don't think so. Yeah. I don't think when you just smash down their door, they go, come on in. Well, no, right. I, 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 there wasn't was too before. much resistance. Why didn't, uh, they, why, didn't they, why didn't they just ring the doorbell and, and bring them in? You don't need to break windows. What, you, what they should have done was shown up with a pizza and says, pizza delivery. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> did, you, did you ever notice... Did you ever notice QAnon's flag is 50% of an IQ? <laughs> <laughs> very good very good good humor didn't even have to hold the sign up we knew it was funny yeah oh, oh okay 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 See, like you never have to explain a joke uh when it's when orgasm it, or irony when it, we never have to explain a joke when it's good you That's know what i hate what i always hate are comics and bill maher does this all the time they tell a joke and then they laugh at it. And it's like, you don't have to laugh at your own joke. If it's funny, people will laugh. Okay? Let them be the deciders on whether it's funny or not. But Bill Maher drives me nuts. Every time he tells a joke, he'll tell a joke and he'll follow it with, ha, 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 ha. Yeah. Even he's if he didn't write it he's, read it, he's read it already. So if he read it the yeah. first time and he laughed... The second time, he would yeah. laugh, right? And, you know, there are he things... That, I, I was talking to my friend Shecky today, and he said, you know, I've given up trying to get pissed off at stuff. And I said, why? He said, because it's just taking up too much of my time. 
There's just too much stuff to get pissed off about, and why should I get pissed off about everything? And and we were talking about, one of the things we were talking about was yesterday when uh, Cuomo gets on uh, television and he goes, okay, you know, if it made somebody feel bad, then I'm sorry it happened. It wasn't meant that way. I didn't mean to be that way. But if it was taken that way and the person was bothered by it, I'm sorry, I apologize, and I feel very bad about it. Now, also, please, will everybody just wait for the attorney general to make a judgment as to what happened in this situation and not sit around trying to speculate and to prejudge me before that? Give me that, um, that much. And uh, he's through. And as soon as we go back to MSNBC, what are they doing? Well, you know why he was terrible and why this was terrible when he did this and he put his hand on the VH. And I'm going, did you just hear what the man said? They just asked you uh, to respect his right to be heard. Yeah, you know, that's not good. Not the it's style of the media in this country. Right. Yeah, but I mean, it's just it was just terrible. It was horrible. You know, so I, I mean. Just- I mean, I'm not. I'm not going to sit here and defend uh, Andrew Cuomo uh, because I, you know, I was never that hot for him before this whole thing, and I think he handled it well. Marjorie is though, huh? Marjorie is. Well, Marjorie, Marjorie likes him, but she's, you know, in recent weeks we've had some questions about his handling of this whole thing, you know. But handling, but like he's that. right, you know. Wait for the attorney general to come out with her report, and let's see what that says. And but, we can trust that. you know, what, 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 what I brought up to him and I also brought up to Marjorie tonight was it's a long way from Bill Cosby date raping women with drugs, OK, and him coddling a woman's cheek. You know, What's I mean, and, and we're equating that with no. rape. And he no. was coddling her woman's cheek while it was on his dick. No, no, she no, that was the case. Bill Cosby, it's he raped and it's a legal thing and he's in prison. With Andrew Cuomo, there's nothing legal. It's just some people think, well, maybe he should resign, which I don't think he should, but or he oh, should no, but I mean I mean but, but 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 all I'm saying is it's how do, do we re, do we really diminish what happened to these women who were raped and truly molested with what Andrew Cuomo did? Do we do we do we Andrew cheapen it? Andrew Cuomo's not going to jail for Yeah. No, for but it's he's being he may he may prison. lose his job over it and he you know, a whole, right? there's a whole bunch of stuff going on here. But all I'm saying is is that uh, just wait. You know, yeah. uh, wait, wait for the report. Let's see what happens. You know, exactly. I saw the picture of him. Have you seen that picture of him holding this woman's cheeks? I didn't and see all it. I could think about, I don't think he was molesting her, but I think uh, that was not uh, a safe, a safe distance to be. You know that he was. Uh, I think he was adjusting her jaw. So and then I, I, I said, you know, she, she, she I, and then it turns out it was pre-COVID. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But but you know the thing is that you know women But isn't are, isn't it interesting today that when we see somebody holding somebody's yeah. cheek in a photo we go, oh! <laughs> you know, how could you do that? Well, you know, it's it's about uh like respecting a woman's uh personal space. That kind of thing. Well, yeah, but uh, yeah, uh, uh, I agree with that. I agree that we should all respect everybody's personal space. Right. Okay? But, uh, you know, it's a question of, of uh, you know, some women, if Andrew Cuomo did that to them, would go, guess what? The governor came on to me. And other women would go, I felt upset by it. It bothered yeah. me. Well, you know? that, and that's the thing. It's, it's if the woman is upset by it, then the woman is upset by yeah. it. But it, but it wasn't not, like he it wasn't different. like he put his finger in her pussy or he did anything yeah. that was sexually aggressive. Okay, and yet we're equating that with people who have raped other people, you know. And I I just think that we should respect those people who have been raped and who have truly been yeah. uh, been put in 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 a yeah. terrible situation and have had an incident which scarred them for the rest of their life. We should give them a little more dignity and respect than to cheapen it by saying that him asking a woman if she's ever gone out with an older man is is akin to the same rape this other woman had. I know, it's, you know, it's, this is just a public opinion. What difference does it make if she's gone out with an older man? You ask her 
if, you know, after the older man got down going down on her, did he put his teeth back in? Sorry. It's, right, uh, hold up your sarcasm it's, it's sign. Hold, hold, yeah, hold up the sarcasm that's sign. Sarcasm hey, what sign? Obvious. What? <laughs> yeah, no shit. How about this? Everybody I, on the show probably knows what a CPAP is. So yeah, what, I do. I, what does I a, CPAP a CPAP and CPAC have in common? A lot of hot air. A lot of hot air. Thank you very much. Yeah. Is it is it yeah. is it a CPAP put out with hot air? Is it <laughs> getting ready to put that one up there? <laughs> yeah, that was. was a God, I don't have any political. signs at all here. There's nothing I can even use as a sign. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Here. Oh, there you go. My, Medi oh, your, my uh, Medicare card. card. No, it's yeah, my yeah. Medicare card. With that, you oh. get into the dance. Did you get the Social Security number? I got the first four numbers. <laughs> There's a... Alex's Social Security number is six. Yeah. <laughs> well, what is that you've got there, uh, uh, it's, uh, Dan? It's, uh, they sent it to me in the mail. Prescription drug savings card. I don't need uh, Okay, Okay, so hold that up. That's your card. Wait a minute. Hold on. on. A little close. A little closer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wait a minute. Yeah, wait a minute. Yeah. Wait a minute. Dan, does does that mean your marijuana that's delivered to you, or does that mean a okay? A okay, oh, okay. Um, thanks for bringing that up because <laughs> yeah, geez, no, we almost made a whole show without putting you down about marijuana. I, I'm not putting the marijuana down. You guys don't I, get it. okay. I don't. I don't know you that well, Alan. I know a lot of people on this show, but but. In the time I've been off, you so let me let me clarify. On. Let me now, clarify. Okay, something. hold on, hold on, hold on. Our the only interact the first interaction we have is a couple weeks ago. Alex, there's a guy smoking marijuana, <laughs> drinking beer, and uh, that's that's the first impression I get. And you know whatever, but. Okay, sure. You're being sarcastic, but Bill. I mean, you're an ex-cop. I'm. I'm thinking of you. Did you work in narcotics? Were you narking people out all the time? Is Absolutely. Yeah. You know, okay, here, so. here's the thing, Dan, and I say this to everybody on the show. Sure. I am not against an adult using marijuana if they want to. Okay, I never had any. So oh, well, for for Dan, you don't need that sign for Dan. Sure. I I might bust your balls know. on it, but I don't care. Yeah. I've never cared. You don't. Yeah, find, I don't. I mean, you don't find people under the influence of marijuana attacking cops like people that are alcoholics or drunk or uh, high on yeah. other drugs. Because so we I, in the house. I, we I, sit and eat I, I, I think that most. I think most police across the country are probably pro marijuana. Yeah, I'm. I'm sure. Uh, well, there there are big uh, marijuana busts around here every once in a while. They're definitely. Well, it might be state law there, but I'm. I'm just saying yeah. personally. Oh yeah, they don't. I, care I, I don't care if you smoke weed or not. Yeah. Oh, I don't. I don't. I don't really care if you care. Well, but, yeah, I was going to say I don't care if you care either. I'm going to smoke yeah, it anyway like, if you want to. Yeah. Right. Like uh, and and the stuff that that I have is just this legal stuff that. Uh, that I was talking about, but anyway, that's but still. It's like, you know, the first. I think the first uh, addressing that of you and I that we even had was you snarking me out for, for smoking, my legal stuff there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there, right. <laughs> now we're clear. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. So who had his hand uh, up? Yes, so, so Brian. So, sorry to bring this back to Cuomo, but. I just see this picture of him with that woman, and this is like an action shot. You know, his hands are blurred, his face is blurred, so it's like totally taken out of context. And it could be something bad, but you know, if you grab somebody's face sometimes, oh, you lost so much weight or something, and you don't know the context of that. Well, well, look, look, look. He comes from a generation whose parents, for instance, as an example, uh, uh, you know, uh, were touchy feely. Okay. Yeah. Italian family, touchy feely. If Tony were here, we'd talk about it. Tony would say, "Yeah, touchy feely." Yes, yes, yeah. You, yeah, yes, uh, uh, Robert. No, no, that's, see, that's, that's me. me. That's yeah, you. That's me. Yeah, same here. And that that you know that you you show affection to everybody. 
you know, and uh, some people might take it wrong. Now, this woman who was talked to by him, he was trying, he was putting the make on her. There was no question about that. But it, what's the difference between putting the make on somebody and courting? You know, asking those little courting yeah. questions, feeling a person out to see if maybe there might be a chance for you to, you know, and for them to respond in kind. You know, if they don't respond, then you get on with it. It's not like when she suddenly seemed like she wasn't interested, he jumped on her anyway. You know, that wasn't the case. You, you yeah. can always, you can, let's see if I can figure out where to put this thing. You can always say I was checking for cancer bumps. Oh. Uh, no, wait a minute. Hold on a second. I think a sign's coming yeah. up here. Yeah. Yeah. Or a lot of them. Complete <laughs> yeah. bullshit. There yeah. we go. There we go. <laughs> Can I ask you something, Brian, and and also um, uh, Robert? Were you in the cahoots with each other today? No, no. <laughs> this was no. like two people with the same mind. I'm well, not allowed. I'm not even allowed comment. to be Brian's Facebook friend until he gets down to a thousand. He told me that. <laughs> oh, so I'm waiting my turn. <laughs> well, I would gladly be his. Facebook friend, but he told me he's trying to get rid of people. Hey, I'm no. Facebook I said, on no, the show. No, I said I got rid of people I don't know. I, I know a lot of people okay. from cars and from this and from that. People I don't personally know, but I personally know you. I'll, I'll reevaluate tomorrow. Yeah. Oh. I'm looking for Facebook friends. If anybody wants to. I'm I'll reevaluate tomorrow. Somebody to talk to you. I mean, I, I put in a, a check for everybody that's on the show. And the only person that I haven't got a comment from is Jeffrey. Hmm. Jeff's Give been very a, quiet to tonight. Facebook and rather make yeah. me a friend or say delete. But if, if Jeff weren't here, I would feel the show was off. I didn't get you know? a request from you, Alan. Uh, really? No. Oh, okay. I, I would have said yes. I'll go back and look. <laughs> I didn't get one either. I'll go back and look, uh, uh, Robert. I'm pretty sure I... That well, you know, I went on Facebook when I go below five thousand friends, which is the maximum. If I go like to four thousand nine hundred ninety-nine, all of a sudden I have hookers trying to become friends. Yeah, it's like oh, this yeah, all the time. It, it, it's like this <laughs> massive thing that happens, and you know, so Robert, I immediately go and find somebody that I think on I my list that up, might ha that I have like a hundred other friends with who might be interested, and I immediately get that slot filled up. Because I don't want these hookers constantly bombarding me. No, huh? N no. Oh, See, I, oh. I had Robert's last name spelled. Wrong. Don't send me pictures of yourself if you've got really I big tits and I can't no touch and I can't okay, touch them. No, okay, you know. I just I I mean, I, I just I I just find it uh, annoying at this point, and it's useless too. I mean, what am I going to do? Am I going to jerk off to your little picture? I'm sorry, I'm not going about to. Your pills again? Your I can find much pills. better pictures than yours to jerk off to. Okay? Well, if I were Brian's friend, we could have coordinated our sign. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, the fact that you kind of came dressed the same way as yeah, it were. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think you know? it's amazing. And now every uh, and J John Larkin hasn't said a thing practically yeah, all night. Psych connection between you Have, guys. You want to say something, John? Maybe. Um, okay, next. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. I think what John is trying to say is his printer's not working. <laughs> No, no. I have a lot of friends. I have a lot of people that watch the show and ask to be friends on Facebook, which I'll say okay. But sometimes, like the people who are on the show, I don't want to because a lot of times I post a lot of garbage, just stupid stuff on there. So as long as I, I will accept everybody and I'll ask everybody to be friends. If you don't like my stuff, just delete me. I don't care. I, I hate where you bring somebody in that's the opposite politically, and they're oh, like, yeah. yeah, well, yeah. I know. If they're I, obnoxious. I, I, if they're I, obnoxious, I, I delete. People I haven't even talked to you since high you school. You haven't deleted me. Yeah. yeah. Well. Yeah. I'm naturally obnoxious. <laughs> hey, Jeff. Thank you for being so talkative tonight. Well, this is. Uh, I know. Was, I know. That's okay. Uh, yeah, I love I having you here. You know that. Same thing with Robert. I this, I I love having him here. As I feel the same way about uh, about Dan. 
not so much not so much not so much for Brian okay not so much for Brian <laughs> <laughs> Charlie, thank you so much. Uh, John Larkin, thank you for being here. Normally, you, you're really talkative tonight. You were kind of quiet. And, of course, uh, Alan, thank you. And I'm glad that you and Robert didn't get into it with each other. Hey, this tonight. was fun. It was a lot of fun tonight. Yeah, it was right. a lot of fun. Yeah, my, uh, all my chest of, is hurting. Yeah, give yourself a big wave goodbye, and I'll wave goodbye at you uh, as we... Go off into the sunset, ladies and gentlemen. There they go. There goes the citizen panel. Let me get rid of them. There we go. Uh, and um, Jack Bishop is next over most of the same GabNet. He's here with the intersection. He'll be taking your calls on Skype at GabNet Live. GabNet Live. In the meantime, I'm going away, only to come back again tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, as always... If you see her, tell her I love her. And by the way, be safe out there. Wear a mask. Good night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>